Hi, uh, I am Daniel. I'm Sean. And we are both the directors of 29 FPS Production Studios. We created our short film called Pit as our final project. So for the inspiration of this story, it's basically uh, based on my own uh, child experience. So the story is about a boy who's playing a football nearby a ditch. So he accidentally kicked his football too high and landed into a ditch. So as the football rolls into the ditch, this is where the story unfolds. The moment I, I feel very scared that there's something inside is going on, come, come out to eat me. So this is the moment I feel that this unforgettable moment will stay in my mind and then I just try to just try to bring out my personal experience to the short film. For once, challenges were definitely in the technical problems where like computers, uh, there's bugs and issues in the Maya software. Um, but how I managed to solve them is basically going through it, trials and trial and errors and making sure that uh, everything works after that. We weren't having any uh, designing phase done at the start. The, the designers were still struggling with the actual concept of the kit, so we had to come up with uh, our own interpretation of how the kit looks like. At first, we are kind of lost to what, what to do with the creature, because at first we thought that the creature would be something like super mobile, which just has like uh, lanky limbs and some kind of thing, but actually not, because the creature should be having like a more study kind of body type. So in the end, those kind of like developments in the storyboards will ha help us a lot with the initial design. Mostly because like on the base base level of the creature body type, and we are all set already. But then what we add inside those body types, like that's where we struggle a lot. Cause like we don't really understand. Cause like the creature itself was like full of trash. It was made by trash. So and then. We kind of struggle like how to put like those details of trash inside the body of the creature, and that's where we struggle a lot. It took like the yeah the most out of the character designs. Yeah, as for the creatures design, that one is the most challenging stuff for all of us, for riggers, for animators, for our illustrator, because we we keep searching for uh, various various uh, real life reference of uh, amphibious and reptile. The creature is our main highlight of the film. It also poses a lot of challenging for animators and reading, but in the end, we really pull off to make the creature really believable for audience. I took my own time to learn X-Gen. Uh, I, I learned it in one night, and the next day I spent a solid 10 hours straight just trying to make the boy's hair look way better. Throughout our entire pre-production and post-production, I never stopped uh, adding more things to make it better. Like, I refined the hair, I refine the textures, the shaders of a lot of things. So our seniors did really like push us through because of their short film being that good. We really wanted to push the visuals way further than we can. Throughout our entire process, we did try our best to push the quality uh, in terms of rendering, in terms of uh, shaders, in terms of texturing. Uh, we really tried our best and we hope that we managed to achieve such uh, detail and uh, as you can see in our short film. The outcome of the film was pretty much unexpected because due to uh, such a big group, you know, having 29 people in there, uh, it wasn't easy, but it was definitely um, a milestone for us, yeah. The memorable moments are when everyone works together, yeah. There were a lot of times when um, there are issues between um, teammates, uh, lack of cooperation, but when everyone's working together, that's when everything starts um, being memorable at that time. Don't slack or you're gonna regret it like me because uh, you don't wanna work at night 12 a.m. until 6, you know, 6 a.m. and uh, go to class. So you might wanna start your work way earlier and plan ahead and uh, yeah, do what you can to not get this schedule. Just do not give up. As long as you don't give up, everything will be fine. So for the viewers, we hope that we can give them a very good time while watching the short film. But once everything unfolds, we hope that the audience could realize that it's not just about entertainment, it's also about the eco message that audience can never take Mother Nature for granted and then take good care of, the, of their surrounding and make a difference. Another thing that we would like to mention about our story is that 
do you should not judge a book by its cover because if you watch it for the first time you might be confused as to why the creature was chasing the boy but again after the ending and you watch it again you will realize that actually it was the creature that was the good person all this time and the boy was just misunderstanding based on how the creature looks first of all would be the lecturers they are the ones who guided us along the way and make sure and made sure that uh, nothing was you know too exaggerated nothing was wrong uh, that we didn't go to the wrong direction and secondly would be the people working in this film the, without their help this uh, film would never ha happen at all yeah thank you for being there for me when whenever <laughs> i feel depressed or whenever i need any help in like my work yeah thank you guys yeah i want to thank also everyone from our team i think they did a wonderful job on the final outcome and i'm quite proud of them Everything was really a combination of everybody's effort and we could not really have done it without you guys. Thank you very much, lecturers. And finally, we would like to definitely thank our parents for giving us this opportunity and support throughout our entire three years to create our short film here in the One Academy. Uh, thank you, parents. Thank you very much. Thank you, mom and dad.